Hello and welcome to Jada Jelly's latest news. With a heavy heart, we deliver the terrible news that musician Garth Brooks was actually born on February 7, 1962, in Tulsa. With his strong voice, captivating stage presence, and accessible lyrics, Oklahoma is one of the most popular country music performers of all time. Throughout his career, Bruce has won the hearts of millions of people all over the world. He has garnered several accolades, including multiple Grammy Awards, and has sold over 170 million records. Garth Brooks was created to take on Colin Miguel and Raymond Brooks Jr. Roy Carroll was raised in the Oklahoma City suburb of Yukon, where he first fell in love with music at an early age. His mother sang, while his father worked as a draftsman for an oil business. Bruce traveled to Nashville, Tennessee in 1985 to pursue a career in country music after leaving Oklahoma State University on a track and field scholarship after realizing his true interest was music. From Nashville, Garth Brooks' self-titled debut album, which featured his singles like If Tomorrow Never Comes in the Dance, was a major success. Brooks initially had multiple rejections from record firms, but he persevered and eventually got the attention of Capitol Records. Achieving position two on the River Top Country album chart and establishing bands as up-and-coming artists with their first later albums, such no offenses his superstar status was cemented with the albums Rope in the Wind, 1991, and 1990, which produced a number of top-charting hits, including Friends in Low Places. Unanswered Prayers and Thundering Thunder Bruce's distinctive fusion of conventional country music with rock and pop components attracted a large audience and allowed him to transcend the limitations of the genre. Garth Brooks' popularity increased throughout the 1990s, and he set a record by releasing seven albums in a row. His live performances were famous, and his high-energy concerts drew large crowds. In 1998, Brooks shot himself in the foot by announcing his retirement to concentrate on his family. He wanted to be there for his three children, as well as his wife, Sunny Mao, whom he had married in 1986. The choice to leave the limelight demonstrated Rose's commitment to his family and ideals throughout his hiatus from country music. Chris Gaines, a rock singer with a tragic past, was the creation of Garth Brooks. In 1999, Bruce released a complicated album titled Garth Brooks and the Life of Chris Gaines, which received positive reviews and demonstrated Brooks' versatility as an artist. In 2000, Brooks and his wife, Sammy, announced their separation, and their divorce was finally finalized in 2001. Bravas was greatly impacted by the separation because he had based his profession on his family values. After his divorce, he took a break from the music business to focus on getting better and being there for his kids. Brooks later met fellow country music artist Trisha Yearwood. The two fell in love and got married in 2005. Since then, they have worked together on several successful duets, including In Another Size and Whiskey to Wine. In 2009, after a 13-year hiatus, Garth Brooks announced his return to the music scene with a series of co-written songs. Pro's return was met with a lot of enthusiasm from his devoted fan base, and the shows became a must-see event for country music enthusiasts in 2014. First released a new studio album Man Against Machine, his first full-length album of new material in 13 years. The album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 charts. The shows became a must-see event for country music enthusiasts. In 2019, Garth Brooks began a stadium tour that featured sold-out performances at storied venues like Yankee Stadium and Notre Dame Stadium. The tour demonstrated Bruce's capacity to captivate sizable crowds and cemented his status as one of the greatest live performers in music history throughout his career. Unfortunately, the legendary senior songwriter, beloved by millions of people worldwide, passed away from lung cancer at the age of 61 after a brief but valiant battle with the illness. He passed away in the presence of his devoted family and friends.
Bruce has received numerous honors. He has won multiple Grammy Awards, including the prestigious Album of the Year Award. He is also being inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame, the Songwriters Hall of Fame, and the Musicians Hall of Fame. Yet Garth Brooks' untimely death has left a gap in the music industry and among his fans, who believed he would be remembered for his musical contributions forever. His untimely passing serves as a stark reminder of the devastating effects of lung cancer, a disease that challenges thousands of people each year in the United States. Lung cancer is the most common in serious forms of cancer and frequently presents no signs or symptoms during its early stages. However, symptoms usually start to appear as the condition progresses, making early detection essential for successful treatment. Fellow artists have emphasized his sincere kindness and his unparalleled generosity. His genuine city and down-to-earth personality are attributes that sustained him to millions of people around the world as he continues to grow and interact with his followers, making them feel like part of his extended family. As we say goodbye to a true icon, let us also be reminded of the significance of early detection and regular screenings for lung cancer. By remaining vigilant and informed, we can work together to prevent the devastating effects of this disease. Finally, we send our sincere condolences to Garth Brooks' family, friends, and fans. He will be laid to rest at the Saints Raymond Cemetery in New York City, a final resting place befitting a man who touched the hearts of so many. Thanks for watching my video.